It's my buttermilk fried chicken. To start, I've got my chicken broken down into 10 pieces in my casserole dish where I'm gonna brine it. And I'm gonna cover it with buttermilk, which is the best brining liquid because it makes the meat so moist and then it also adds that tang. I'm gonna add about three cups. Some cayenne pepper. A half teaspoon will add the perfect little kick, but it won't be overpowering. And then three tablespoons of kosher salt, which seems like a lot of salt, but the brine needs it in order for it to do its job. Because what the brine is doing is it's basically pulling out the moisture from the chicken, and then when the moisture goes back into the chicken, it's flavored with all that salt and this other goodness in the brine. And then it's just gonna get so juicy. I'll add one tablespoon of sugar, loads of black pepper, and then a few sprigs of fresh thyme. And this is gonna mirror the dried thyme that's in the za'atar that'll go on top at the end. And lastly, a couple of cloves of garlic. And I'm just gonna smash them so that they can infuse the mixture. I don't need to chop them up totally. I'll plop these in, and then I'm gonna use my tongs to zhuzh everything around. And this is a great straightforward brine. It'd be really good with pork chops or turkey, other lean meats. The chicken is fully coated. I'll grab some plastic wrap. I'll let this brine in the refrigerator for a few hours and it is gonna make the meat so tender and juicy. It's worth it. And now I just need to mix up my coating. So I'm gonna grab two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of cornstarch, which is gonna make it extra crunchy, and two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of kosher salt, and then I'll spice things up with one tablespoon of paprika, or three teaspoons if you wanna get mathematical. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. So flavorful. I feel like garlic powder is underrated. One teaspoon of dried mustard powder. Chicken and mustard, match made in poultry heaven. And then half a teaspoon of cayenne for a little more heat. I'll crack in some black pepper. It's smelling good already and I'll whisk it together. My coating is combined. Let me grab the chicken, see if it's up from its nap yet. This is gonna be so juicy. I'm gonna do something that has revolutionized my life as a fried chicken lover. I'm gonna actually add some of the brine into the coating and that allows the coating to clump up so you can get more of it in each bite and it adds some of this delicious flavor from the brine. I'm gonna drizzle in a quarter cup of the brine and then get in here with my hands to get it clumpy and good. Oh yeah, baby. So I have a pan ready to go here with a wire rack and I'm gonna start with the legs, the best part. I'll let any of the excess coating drip off and then I'll coat it all over. See, some of these clumps are just sticking on. I love the texture that the brine forms with the coating. This is what you need to live in the north is a big, heavy coat. The chicken is ready. I'll get this on my pan, dredge the rest of my chicken, and then head outside for an awesome fry out. Hi. Hey. You ready to fry some meat? Yes, I am. Okay, the chicken is dredged. Okay. It smells really good. How's the oil doing? We are getting real close at 350. Perfect. So. Fry this in two batches. Okay. It'll take about 10 to 12 minutes, but the wings and the breasts will be done first. How's the chickens? Done. Oh, that looks beautiful. It's okay, you can put it on this wire rack now. Okay. The wire rack is gonna allow any excess oil to drip off. It's gonna keep it crispy on the bottom too. And they said I couldn't fry chicken. <laughs> I didn't say that. I'm gonna sprinkle it with some za'atar as it comes off. Za'atar is a spice blend with dried thyme, sumac, which is vinegary, and some toasted sesame seeds. This is just gonna bring it over the top. Oh, look at that chicken! Last batch is frying away. Okay. Oh my gosh. Done. This looks so good. <gasps> I'm ready to eat. Chicken! Well, this is fun. Mm -hmm. I did that. It's kind of unbelievable. Mm -hmm.